you guys have questions, so we've got answers. Hi FFU fam, it is Carrie Ingram and I am finally bringing you back a YouTube video from Fast Forward U at Johns Hopkins University because this year we are being what? Consistent. We wanted to kick off this year with an FFU facts video to share with you guys some information about Fast Forward U for those of you who have stumbled upon our page, who are students at Johns Hopkins University and who have never heard of us before and are just looking for the tea the deets, the details. So here is a quick video to answer your questions about what Fast Forward U is, what we have to offer, and how we can help you. Fast Forward U is a student hub for all things entrepreneurship and innovation at Johns Hopkins University. We are a 10,000 square foot space all about helping for student entrepreneurs to reach their goals in entrepreneurship and innovation. Because as cheesy as it sounds, today's students are tomorrow's future. And so we're here just to help make our future a lot brighter, okay? We work with students from all nine of Johns Hopkins University schools, undergrad to postdoc, and you don't have to be in a certain field or industry with your startup in order to work with us. In fact, you don't even need a startup to work with us, but we'll get to that. Our team is comprised of a small but mighty group of people very passionate about helping entrepreneurs. We have three core team members, Josh Ambrose, myself, and Demario Northington. Josh Ambrose is our director of student ventures. He runs the show here at Fast Forward U and he has been with us for almost a year now but has made such a tremendous amount of change for the better at Fast Forward U. He runs our fuel accelerator for later stage student teams. Then there's me. You guys know who I am, <laughs> you at least have seen me somewhere by now. I am the Fast Forward U Marketing Coordinator, so all of our marketing efforts, including social media, are run by me, and then I also help to plan and coordinate our events and help with space operations, space reservations, etc. in our building. And then there is Demario Northington, who is the newest member of our core team, and he is the student program coordinator at Fast Forward U. Demario runs the Spark Accelerator for early stage teams, and he is the one that works the most with students and getting them connected in the ways in which they need to be, having office hours with students, going on campus, speaking at classes, etc. We also do have an amazing team of student interns that we work with. We have six strategic advising interns and they also help facilitate teams through the accelerator program and speak with teams through office hours to help them with their entrepreneurship obstacles and journey. And then we have our creative interns who help me with all of our marketing efforts. We're really looking forward to expanding our team as the years go on. We are located about a five minute walk from the Johns Hopkins Homewood campus and let me just say Five minutes is not a long walk. It's a very easy trail to get from us to Homewood and vice versa. And we are in Remington, so we are around a lot of cool local businesses, including the Paper Moon Diner, which has like this really wacky out there aesthetic. We also are actually attached to some cool businesses like Greedy Reads, the bookstore, we have a CrossFit place below us, and something that people tend to really love understandably so, is that we are right across from our house, which is a great food resource if you're in Remington. There are so many different stalls there for you to check out to have a nice business lunch or just a relaxed one. Our space is 10,000 square feet, 8,000 of which belong to open co-working space. We have a tour on our channel, but are hoping to update it later this year, so make sure to subscribe if you're not already so you can stay tuned. But our space is awesome. We have open event space that can be reserved for free by Johns Hopkins University student groups and faculty and staff if their event or purpose of reserving is related to entrepreneurship and innovation in some way. We do also host classes in our space as well. We have conference rooms for people to reserve to have meetings, to have brainstorming sessions. We have an open kitchen. We have more co-working space in the back. We have lockers for students to use. It's a really cool space. And then 2,000 of those square feet belong to our maker 
space, which we're reopening for 2022, and we're really excited. This space is awesome because it really is just about the student tinkering and creating something tangible. So we have 3D printers, laser cutters, vinyl cutters, etc. We have a whole training system for that as well. So if you're interested in utilizing our makerspace, it is free for all Johns Hopkins University students, faculty, and staff. And you can sign up now and learn more on the makerspace website, which is right here on the screen. A lot of people ask, how are we different? Well, for one, we're not a career center. We do work collaboratively with a lot of the different student groups on campus, including things like Life Design Lab and the CLE, but we are solely focused on entrepreneurship. So we love to help students who come in with an idea, try and help students find their team members, find mentorship. But the biggest thing that makes us different from other entrepreneurship groups on the Hopkins campus alone is the fact that we are privileged enough to offer funding. Thanks to some very generous donors, we're able to give student teams funding every semester. And in this past year alone, we are very happy to say that we have given over $365,000 to student startups at Johns Hopkins University. And we're hoping that that amount just keeps going up. And on top of that, we do not take equity in any of the student startups that we work with. So you own your startup if you're working with us. So I've glazed over some of the things that we offer, but to go in a little bit more detail, for one, we do have an accelerator program that is popular, and this program is run once every semester. We have two cohorts in our accelerator program, Spark and Fuel, but the essence is the same, which is we're trying to help student entrepreneurs get from point A to point B, or maybe even point C in their startup journey. Our Spark Accelerator teams are early stage teams that might still need to work on customer discovery or validation, but have an idea that is promising. And so they go through the Spark Accelerator with Demario and some of our strategic advising interns with the hopes that by the end of the semester, they've reached a lot of goals that they've set in the beginning of the nine week. And our hopes are that we can then help them through the fuel accelerator as they become a later stage team and beyond. And then our fuel cohort is for our later stage teams who are already validated, some of which have already started raising funding themselves and are really trying to get investor ready. That cohort is ran by Josh and we do have a couple of strategic advising interns that help with those teams as well, but both cohorts end the semester with something called a demo day, which is our version of a shark tank where they pitch for a monetary prize. In addition to our accelerator program, we do offer funding outside of that program, including our Ignite Fund, which is a rolling fund opportunity for students to apply anytime, <laughs> really. Our team analyzes the applications once a month and basically students get to request the amount of money that they want and explain to us basically how this ask can help them in their venture. And we review these and then we give these students awards. So usually awards are sent out at least once a month. And then we also do have a larger funding challenge called the INE Challenge for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. This challenge is open every spring and it is opening this spring starting in February. And this challenge is so amazing. We are gifting over $100,000 for student teams and there's different prizes underneath this challenge, including summer undergrad teams, um, graduate teams. And then we also do have something called the Bashadi Student Prize where there's actually two prizes and these prizes can be given out to either student teams or recent alumni teams. So we're not forgetting about you just because you've graduated from Johns Hopkins University. We still got you. Additionally, we have a lot of resources on our website, including guides to different IP, law things, any of like the really nitty gritty business side of things. We have our podcast that we host and we post the videos on this channel. And then we also do have it on Apple Podcasts. We offer a lot of different events throughout the semester, including different workshops. I host social media workshops. We have workshops on customer discovery, on IP, on grant writing, anything entrepreneurship we got something for you. We have a ton to offer, but if you're interested in learning more about specifics and staying up to date, definitely make sure to check out our website, which I will leave linked down below, as well as subscribe to our newsletter that I send out every week to give you the latest and greatest at Fast Forward U. We also have a mentorship part of our website in which students can sign up for a mentor or strategic advisor to help lead them on their innovation journey. And we provide mentors through our alumni network and other connections that we have. And we also have mentors that pair with the accelerator teams as they go through the programming.
our most popular question I've saved for last and it is how can I get involved at Fast Forward U? There are a ton of ways to get involved but the easiest is just to reach out to us via email, DM, however. You don't have to have a startup to work with us. In fact, on our website, we also do have a link to a student connection page in which you can either have a startup and fill out a form with your information because you're seeking students who wanna join a team or if you're a student who's interested in startups and the entrepreneurial world, but you don't have a startup of your own, you can fill out a different form and get connected to startups that are existing or are looking for new team members. Again, obviously applying for Accelerator or any of our funding opportunities will get your foot in the door, but we welcome all of Johns Hopkins University students to just visit us, email us, connect with us to talk about ways in which you're interested in startups and find ways in which we can get you connected. That pretty much sums up all of the answers for your most asked questions that you guys post on Instagram for what is Fast Forward U, FFU facts, what can we learn here? If you have any remaining questions that weren't addressed in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. But otherwise, again, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be posting once a week this year. And check out all of our other socials. We post on Instagram on the daily, Twitter, Facebook on the daily, and make sure to check out our website if you want more in-depth information and links to relevant events and opportunities. But other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!